General Tire was one of the first two um, major industries in our marketplace in the 40s, and it really was a part of building us as a strong manufacturing economy. And when you think about the money that people made here and spend in the community, I mean, let's face it, it was an economic driver for the, for the city of Waco. Good paying job and a lot of benefits up until it, it ended. I was working midnight shift, went home and went to bed and got a call at one o'clock from my wife and said, honey, they just announced General Tire is closing. I said, it's impossible. When they announced closure in 1985, they had over 1,500 employees, which was a significant percentage of our workforce, certainly more concentrated than any employer we have today. You saw the community go from decades of 15, 16% growth um, to several decades that slowed quite dramatically after that. But there were several of them that, you know, they lost whatever they had. I'd been tasked by the upper administration at that point to figure out how do you actually move a research university, or move what was primarily at that point a very good undergraduate institution towards becoming a very good research university while maintaining both the, the good things that we've done in terms of teaching and also the Christian mission. At that time, the president of, of Baylor came to me one day and said, you know, I've been thinking about that crazy idea of yours. And he said, you know, I think I've got a, a person that would be interested in giving you some property to help you out in maybe a building. So that's great, what would that be? He said, well, it's this place called General Tire. And so I have to admit I was, you know, I pushed back a little bit. When we first got the first opportunity to tour it, this place was a mess. I mean, dark, no electricity, dirty. It looked like they just shut the doors 15 plus years ago in the mid 1980s and never came back. It had outlived its industry use as a manufacturing facility, but for a research facility with concrete floors that are minimum of 18 inches thick, it's vibration free and becomes a perfect place for research laboratories and the kind of associated equipment that's so delicate. I think what we found initially structurally was the stuff they built in the 1940s. I mean, it's, it's what they say, you know, they don't build it like they used to. So basically, we looked at the general tire facility and the 21 plus acres that were being donated by the Clifton Robinson family and Bland Cromwell. And we said, well, this is perfect. It is my pleasure to announce the Baylor Research and Innovation Collaborative the first project of the Central Texas Research and Technology Park. The Baylor Research and Innovation Collaborative, or the BRIC, will be located in the 300,000 square foot building that formerly housed the General Tire Manufacturing Plant. But what BRIC does for us in a lot of ways is it helps us, number one, in terms of just having the space and the infrastructure required that will attract the quality of faculty you need and then allow them to do what they need to do once they get here to be successful. In your lifetime as a scientist, you probably have one or maybe twice a chance to see a research building uh, according to your needs, according to what you would like to do, build at your disposal for your research. Wow, these guys have, uh, have a facility that uh, means they're serious and that the people supporting them are serious. And then we've, over time, also expanded to include uh, international partners, so we now have faculty from Germany and Brazil and Hungary and all, of, all sorts of other places. If you have interesting facilities, interesting projects, uh, great opportunities due to collaborative partners all over the world, that brings in the best students because they're always interested to exceed their own expectations, to exceed their own ideas and visions. And that's typically what we do as faculty members, to help them to succeed as best as they can and try to develop their full potential. Most of the research parks around the country don't have the other tools to carry that research to fruition or commercialization. 
So we can accelerate the path from some of these labs behind me out to the marketplace and they tend to think about their technology and get our experts at that, but they don't know how to penetrate the markets. Businesses, on the other hand, many times have a very good idea what the customers need them to do, don't always know how to do it. They can come here and we can connect the dots and both sides get what they need from the other to go faster. We'll also have advanced workforce training and development through TSTC Waco. There's no place where they have research going on with industry, with an incubator, and also with workforce training. And why is that important? Well, you go talk to the business school guys and they've done studies on what makes a geographic area attractive to a company from outside. They bring that company in and they always ask two or three questions. Top of the list is what's the location look like and what are the economic incentives for me to come here? But the second question is invariably, where do I get my employees? TSTC will be key in, in, the, in the facility here because when you look at a research institution, you not only have research, you have the design, and you have the building of new products. We will add to that because we'll, we'll be able to help develop and build those products here in the laboratories that we set up. The, the opening of the brick really takes our marketplace to a new level in, in our ability to create knowledge-based growth. It's hard to believe it when you walk in there that seeing what we've been through with it, you know, back in the days, what it is today, it's just amazing in the sense of saving something that was built that long ago and turning it into what it is today. I mean, that, that, that's, that, that's really the, the big plus for me. The beautiful part about being at Baylor, you couldn't do any of this by yourself. And you find an environment here that nurtures good ideas. Well, ever since I've been at Baylor, there has been that commitment to doing things with excellence. You're not just working to keep the status quo here. You're really working towards a greater goal. I know up and down these hallways, there are people who are doing what they do for the same reason. They want what they do to matter. It's sort of like, it's sort of like a rebirth. It's, 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 it, it's a rebirth for the city of Waco and Central Texas. That's what it is. That together we've decided to invest in an entirely new paradigm as part of this goal, the brick. I'm really, really excited to see what's yet to come.